Hello hungry fam my name is Akansha and welcome to our channel today i'm going to test few chocolate hacks from 5 minute crafts and check if they are real or fake before starting the video like share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel also click on the bell icon to get all the post notifications for the first hack i have twix chocolate bar I'm going to crush it using a rolling pin. Then open the packet and place it on a shot glass. Insert an ice cream stick in between. And now add melted vanilla ice cream. Hardly 2 to 3 tablespoon ice cream could fit in this packet. but it's fine. I'm going to let it set for approximately 2 to 3 hours. Let's remove it out. Okay, it's a huge task to remove the chocolate wrapper as it gets very sticky and has no grip to it. Bahut mushkil se Advait removed it somehow and you can see it's not at all similar to their video. Still I'm going to coat it with melted dark chocolate and let it set for 5 to 10 minutes. Drizzle some caramel sauce over it and let's give it a taste. The taste is good. It's not what I expected. You can clearly see the inside. It was very tough to take a bite from the top part as it's only the hardened Twix chocolate. And in the 5 minute crafts video, the entire stick was of ice cream. It looked like the chocolate and the ice cream is mixed together, but it doesn't and looks like two different ice cream sticks. It gets very messy and it's a bit difficult to unmold as well. I would definitely prefer eating the chocolate as it is more than this. So for me this hack was busted. For the next hack, I'm going to grease one balloon with oil because I tried a similar hack before. That time the balloon was completely stuck to the chocolate, so I don't want the same thing again. Now I'm going to pipe out chocolate, giving it a mesh design, and within minutes the balloon bursted creating a huge mess. There's chocolate everywhere. It's on the table, it's on the wall. Shit, what a oh no moment this was. My mother is definitely going to yell on me a lot. I don't know why it busted because the chocolate wasn't even hot. Maybe the quality wasn't that good. So quickly, I'm going to clean this mess and try again with another balloon. I'm making the same mesh design again. Okay, it was going well and mess kam tha that this balloon also fell down directly on the floor. Up to pakka I'm dead. Finally after a lot of cleaning I'm trying for the third time. Hopefully it works. Very carefully I'm going to pipe on this balloon. It's very difficult to move this balloon a lot because it is falling flat on the table and I'm scared to make more mess. So I'm doing it very very carefully. Now I'm going to let the chocolate set completely which took almost 2 hours. Let's burst the balloon now. Okay, that was a major fail. I realized my mistake later because obviously gravity. They piped the chocolate till the bottom so it had the support of the bowl. So it's kind of my mistake. I don't know how in their video there was a splatter of sugar while they bursted the balloon. So maybe it could be a jugad, maybe not, but I wasted a lot of time in this hack. So let me know if you want me to retry this hack. For the next hack in a bowl I'm adding half packet of strawberry jelly to that add 1/4 cup of warm water whisk then add half cup of cold water and whisk again I couldn't find strawberries in this season so I'm skipping it Now add this mixture in a tilted glass like I did for the blueberry parfait in the blue food challenge. If you haven't watched that video, definitely check out the link in the description box below. Now let the jelly set for at least an hour. Till then in the pan add half cup of water, half cup milk, 1 tablespoon of veg gelatin powder, whisk it. Then I'm adding 1/4 cup of cocoa powder and 1/4 cup of powdered sugar. They haven't mentioned the measurements so I'm just eyeballing them. Now add it in the set jelly glass. Now you have to straighten the glass and then add your mixture. Again, let it set for more one to two hours. After freezing, it looks so good and like a very fancy dessert. Let's taste it now. 
it's a very different taste it is a sweet and bitter combination like the sweet strawberry jelly is balancing out the bitter chocolate mousse very beautifully i can't taste the gelatin at all which is really nice and the texture oh my god it is so wobbly and very creamy at the same time it literally melts in your mouth I absolutely love this combination of bitter sweet so this hack was definitely a success For the next hack I'm going to try and pipe a flour on a baking paper again I'm using melted dark chocolate Okay the first try wasn't that good so tried it again and failed Adwit also wanted to try and I don't know what he made we are definitely not artists but my fourth try is quite decent so we'll work with that sprinkle some rock salt in the center and let it set completely a lot of you wanted hot chocolate recipe when i posted it on instagram story so for that add 250 ml of milk in a pan then add 2 tablespoon of sugar whisk till it melts Then add one fourth cup of cocoa powder and one fourth cup of chocolate chip. Whisk till everything melts together and let it boil for five minutes. Now your quick and delicious hot chocolate is ready. Let's remove the flour from the baking paper. Okay, it comes out very easily, which is great. In a cup, I'm adding our decadent hot chocolate. Place the flour on it, and I'm adding two tablespoon of hot milk. Wow, that melts within seconds and looks so good. It's a fancy way to impress someone. You can use it on coffee as well. This hack was definitely a success. For the next hack, I'm going to crush a packet of Oreo. Now remove the packet of crushed Oreos in a bowl. Okay even after crushing and punching the Oreos for 15 minutes it didn't turn into powder so I'm going to make a fine powder in a mixer add 1 tablespoon cream cheese into it and make it kind of like a dough take a small portion and shape it into a round ball it's not mentioned but I'm going to refrigerate it for 10 minutes now in a bowl of melted white chocolate I'm adding few lines of dark chocolate like so dip the Oreo ball in the chocolate using a toothpick and coated acche se it gets a beautiful marble effect i have a similar cake pop recipe again you can check the link in the description box below this is my own hack i always pour cake pops on a banana so that the extra chocolate drip down and you don't have to wait and hold it for a long time the chocolate is completely set let's taste it the taste is really nice and exactly like oreo i think that's the best part of oreo you mix it with everything it's going to taste exactly like oreo you can never go wrong with it it's a very easy quick quick and again a fancy looking dessert it's also a nice gift option so this hack was successful try these fun hacks and let me know your feedback today's shout out goes to manju arya ananna kumra and afsa burak if you want a shout out all you have to do is subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram and comment on this video telling me that you have thank you for watching and stay tuned for more amazing videos